Another aspect of the standing exam for the lower extremity malalignment sequence is assessing rear foot to calcaneus orientation. Uh, so what we want to do is we, have, we want the patient to actually stand normally with 50% of the weight on each leg and we're going to appreciate how the, the line of the distal tibia bisects with the calcaneus. I'm then going to ask the patient to stand on just the right leg, the leg we're assessing, and we're going to watch the calcaneus here. Okay, so you can actually stand on just one leg there, Alana. Good. So we're looking right here. We can draw a line and actually measure the acute angle here. If we take this line and we come right down the tibia, all right, and then we, again, we get the line bisecting the calcaneus. So we're going to see this angle right here, here and here. So actually, what we can refer to this as what we call calcaneal valgus. So if we see calcaneal valgus, we know that the rear foot is everting. So if the rear foot is everting in relationship to the distal tibia, we get a calcaneal valgus, and that can encourage that rear foot pronation, which then has a series of issues and potentially other compensatory or obligatory uh, motions associated with that that can cause symptoms.